Hi guys, Bart from PA Brew News. Today we have an ale from New Holland Brewing Company. This is their Night Tripper Imperial Stout. I believe this is the base beer that they use for Dragon's Milk. I'm not exactly sure, but I think it is. Uh, this is a 2014 vintage coming at 11.5% alcohol by volume. Massive. High gravity series, of course. So, let's see. I'll show it to you again. This is my first review in a few days after the power went off because we had a massive storm come through and all the trees came down. So, this isn't the first beer I've had since then, but this is the first review I've done. This is some merciful, merciless death. Got the shirt on too. Hmm. Well, that is really roasted. Really roasty. With a lot of floral booze coming off there, but I'm getting a little dark chocolate, a little espresso, a lot of toasted, roasted grains, a bit of smoke. Yeah, but it does, it smells dark and smoked and charred and, and really rough, but definitely it just smells like a super solid imperial stout. I've had the barrel aged version. Time to get the irregular one down my throat. Wow, well, it does smell good. <laughs> Let's get into it. Cheers. There's dark chocolates and baker's chocolates, espressos and coffees, and all those standard things. But it's really light. I mean, it's super smooth. Um, if I can see now how the barrel aged version, it's got the same, like that hovering low, full, like high, real high, medium, low, full mouthfeel, just hovering right in there, the same uh, feel as, as Dragon's Milk. And uh, it's kind of weird because there's soft, faint, hollow spots in this that I can see now how the bourbon fills up in, in the barrel aged version. <laughs> Excuse me. Real floral booze though. There's a lot of alcohol in here. This thing would age great. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, I'd love to see what, the, what this would taste like with two years on it, exact, for example massive massive improvement towing everything down but bringing everything up at the same time well, this would be a great homebrew imperial style I mean if I brewed this um, as a base imperial style I'd be very happy but it's really easy drinking though it's really smooth there is floral notes, there is boozy notes. It's not hindering my drinking. Uh, it's letting you know, slow down. No, I'll tell you that, it's not hidden at all. It's leaving more, it's adding to like, the earthy bitterness that this thing has. It's kind of coming in with that and just wafting away in your mouth. It's not the best imperial stout I've ever had. It's actually pretty, pretty rounded and subtle. The only thing that's really the big bold character is the floral booze note. And of course, as soon as you throw bourbon in there, that masks that. And then you just get the bourbon, and you're cool with it because it's, it's barrel aged, you know. But all in all, it's still a very, very fine beer. Um, I think. I think I actually prefer Dragon's Milk, I think. Because it takes those little things that I'm picking out that I consider imperfections, but they're really not. But then it makes everything okay as soon as it's bourbon barrel aged. It makes it okay that it's a low, full, high, medium alcohol. It makes it okay that it's really full bluesy, if you know what I mean. So, anyway, I'm still going to give this one a 9 out of 10. Good 9 out of 10 for Night Tripper. It's still really good. I think you should get it, especially if you like those Imperial Stouts. It's been Paul from PA Brew News. Cheers.